Hello, this is Billy Corp from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome to the first episode of this year's Pack Vember. That's right, for the rest of November, we are going to be looking at nothing but Packard Bell related videos. So, if you don't like Packard Bells, I'm sorry, but this is just the way it is. And I encourage everyone um, who would like to participate in Pack Vember to make their own uh, videos of. Uh, Packard Bell uh, related things and uh, use the hashtag PackVember to uh, participate. And so uh, in this first installment of PackVember, we are going to be taking another look at the Packard Bell Corner Desktop. And this is one that I have uh, actually had for five years now. So this is kind of the uh, five year anniversary special, albeit a little bit belated. I uh, bought this computer off a friend of mine back in June of 2017. And this computer's been through a lot since then. Um, mainly a few years ago I had a uh, power supply go out on it, and I've talked about that before. The um, power supply is uh, proprietary to this uh type of computer because of the form factor. It's a uh, AT style power supply. The innards are standard but the form factor is not so finding a replacement was not easy but I managed to find one. Um, I paid more than I wanted to but it was the only way to uh, get this computer up and running. The original literally went up in smoke. Uh, I was using it one day and it the computer just shut off. Um, didn't The power supply didn't explode or make any noises or anything, but smoke did come out of it. So, And I did have that O2 oh, horrible um, burnt electronic smell uh, through the room. So that was that's probably one of my least favorite smells in the world. <laughs> but thankfully, computer is running great now. Um, back in... The early part of this year, I did do a video where I did some overhauling on it. Um, we went back to a standard Pentium 133 and the onboard video, um, and I forgot how much RAM we put in here, but we did put an 8 gig CF card in here. So we kind of downgraded it from the uh, Pentium MMX uh, overdrive that was in here. I put it in my uh, Legend 1540 Supreme off camera here. Um, it's just a more appropriate computer for that. Plus, um, the less um, crazy upgrades I have in this computer, the I feel like the longer it'll last. Man, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. <laughs> My gosh, folks, this is awesome. Here it is, folks. Your eyes are not deceiving you. This is a corner Packard Bell. One of the rarest computers of all time. And I own it. I have dreamed of this day for so long. <laughs> Probably one of the coolest things that this uh, Packard Bell has ever experienced was back in 2020 when I lent this computer to LGR to do a video of, and he did an excellent video about this computer, a very in-depth video, so I highly recommend his video um, about the corner Packard Bell. Specifically, this is the Multimedia D132. It was built in November of 1996 has the PV640 uh, Thousand Oaks motherboard in it. And this was also manufactured um, in Canada. So uh, that makes it a little bit more unique. You may or may not notice this, but I actually have this computer in a corner finally for the first time in its life. Um, it's uh, not on a corner desk, but hey, at least it's in a corner finally. All right, let's go ahead and power it on.
The computer itself is completely silent, aside from the power supply fan. That's because I don't have a hard drive in it. But I do have a CF card. And booting into Windows 95. It does have Cirrus Logic video on it. There's my cool uh, corner desktop wallpaper there. And I do not know why there is no sound. Um, really should be. Uh, it's the power connector on the speaker. I think there's a short in it. Okay, I got the speakers working. Just had to wiggle the uh, power cable and that took care of it. So uh, let's check our device manager out. Uh, 40 megs of RAM. Um, that's I thought it was somewhere around there. I am running Windows 95D Lite on here. Highly recommend it for any Windows 95 computer. Got a Cirrus Logic 5430-40 PCI. This is uh, pretty much standard fare for Packard Bells this day. Um, they either had this or uh, S3 Trio 64 or Verges. Got a Netgear PCI card in here. And of course we got our Packard Bell sound card with built-in modem. Now, uh, speaking of that, in LGR's video, he had some uh, issues with the sound card on this computer um, with certain DOS games like Jill the Jungle, um, and that is admittedly my fault. Um, I had to put a sound card in this computer when I gave it to him, and um, the sound card that I put in it, it was a Packard Bell sound card, but at the time I didn't know that it was failing. And so uh, that explains why he uh, had those issues. Normally these sound cards work great with, with games like that, but unbeknownst to me or him, the uh, sound card was uh, on its last legs. But I do have another uh, Packard Bell sound card in here, and it does work just fine now, thankfully. Also have uh, Office 97 on here. Oh, it's that guy again. Why does this paper clip always interrupt my videos? Do you want to say that? No, I do not. I don't trust you with it. Goodbye. Take your ugly bins with you. Thank you, Jay. Um, one thing I would like to uh, show on here is uh, America Online version 3. And this is um, an emulation type of thing, I guess you could say, um, emulating the server, which tries to provide an experience that was available during the 1990s. This is called re-AOL. Um, right now, all you can do is just go to chat rooms and message boards um, and stuff like that. It's in the alpha stage, so there's... Uh, not much we can really do with it right now. Um, we can uh, open the channel page. Yeah, this is, um, in fact, actually, we can't access it right now, but the games uh, channel right here is where I used to download tons of uh, demos and shareware, including a bunch of DOS games back in the day. Beneath, they could get that going again. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much the extent of it at the moment. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they can do with that. 
If you want to try it out, just check out the re-AOL uh, Discord server for uh, access. Okay, looks like <laughs> looks like our speakers went out again. I swear this stuff only happens on camera. It just knows that I'm doing a video and it's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to mess Billy's video up. Okay, that ought to be good. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from. Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. Navigator just seems so proper on this computer. <laughs> And with um, some uh, adjustments I made to some uh, INI files, I think it was INI files, um, I was able to uh, gain access to uh, the Corner Computer uh, User's Guide, which is uh, built into the Navigator CD, which I do not have access to at the moment, unfortunately, or else I'd show it. But I will uh, point this out. Manual on the Configuration and Performance of Your Packard Bell Co Corner Computer Guide. So this is, a, <laughs> the way it sounds, it sounds like it's a manual for the manual. Just the way it's worded, that's, that's silly. And we got all our uh, standard Packard Bell software on here. That is a guilty pleasure. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah! I was hoping for the everyone get out of the pool sound effect, but you can't ask for everything these days. All right, let's uh, try some games out, as is tradition. I still don't have the uh, mounting brackets for the CD-ROM drive, but LGR was nice enough when he had this computer uh, for that short time to... Uh, use some tape and some other little uh, doodads to mount it a little bit better than the way I had it. The way I had it, it was being uh, held up with uh, pieces of cardboard from a uh, priority mailbox. So, <laughs> yeah, this is still an upgrade from what I had before. And this is going to be a game I haven't played a whole lot of, actually. Uh, Captain Claw. Basically, you're a cat who's a pirate. What a, a wonderful idea. There was a uh, DVD version with DVD quality video, I believe, of this game. Requiring, of course, a DVD-ROM and an MPEG decoder, which this computer does not have either of. This is such a cheesy idea, but I love it. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is also one of those games that has cheat codes, but punishes you for using them. If you use a cheat code, you can't save your game. I find that just 
absolutely horrible. Because <laughs> I'm terrible at games. Even though I love them. It's a little bit choppy on here, but this was a family computer from 1996, so can't expect miracles. I'm trying to remember the controls, okay. There was a gun in this game. I think the point of this game is just collecting as much gold as you can. It, it, but it, in a way, it's it's still just a old-fashioned platformer, which I like. I like these old platformer style style games. Point and click will still be my favorite, though. I'm better at those. I'm shooting all these uh, dogs in this game, and I've got my sweet little uh, dog in the other room. <laughs> I feel kind of about this. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. At least I still got my health. <laughs> That's surprising. Get my jump and my weapon confused. Okay, there's a checkpoint up here. <laughs> I knew my luck would run out eventually. Okay, now I'm dead. 
Apparently falling on spikes is instant death. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we'll uh, try out a classic here. Me and uh, El Mole 3 have been talking about this game recently. The original Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. This is my original copy that I got for Christmas in 1997. So we'll go ahead and pop it in. Oh yeah, Humongous likes to test the CD-ROM speed, so we'll give that a minute. Hey, that's okay with me. I eat dry cereal. But I do eat ice cream. Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? No, nope. gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. That's all right, if you insist. Enjoy. Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factory and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, Hey, it it's okay. I like dry cereal. I feel like I'm being attacked in this game. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III, President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No. I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. Is it this one? Tanks, but no tanks. Nope. Oh, I hope we get the whoopee cushion on this one. This isn't such a safe bet. Yes. <laughs> Pardon me. That airline food will get you every time. That's certainly not the kind of entrance a super spy like myself normally makes. We were all immature hmm. back then. <laughs> the little Greek island of Acidopolis. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Hey, 
Hey, want to see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. I always got to do that. Five, 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 six, two, two, zero. How fortunate that five, five, five. Well, that's got to be fake. Code. Five, 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 six, two, two, zero. Hello. You see, before cell phones were popular, kids, we used pay phones. And I always had bad experiences with them because they never took my change. Now that's a person to person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spongebob. Hello, monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So, what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good. Because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachma. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush. Okay, we'll skip through all this can't make this an hour long video again my spy watch is beeping spy fox to mobile command center please stand by spy fox here hi spy fox remember you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information just press the mobile command button will do spy fox out Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Oh yeah. This is where that toothbrush comes in handy. That happens. How am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm. This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Hmm. Fish on ice. That should open. Now for Mr. Utterly. Yes, that's supposed to be a Don Knotts parody. <laughs> Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. <laughs> you got to stop it, Mr. Fox. All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. 
Whether you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. Worth it just for that. So overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a like a piece of beef. That happened to me last Thursday. All right, we'll do a DOS game or two. Do I have them on here? Yes, I do. Uh, let's, uh, hmm. Let's do uh, Commander Keen. I don't have enough memory, really. Well, that's odd. Normally, um,. Normally these Packard Bells have more memory than this in uh, DOS. So we'll need to sort this out. <laughs> Anything looks good there in config sys. Now I'll auto exec that. Looks good there too, huh? Okay, I rebooted and unloaded a few drivers, so let's try this again. If I can type, that is. one of those games I never got to play as a kid. I wish I had. It would have been fun. And what else notice these houses look like the Flintstones houses? Okay, I, that was a stupid move of mine. <laughs> You lose everything if you lose in this game. Epic Pinball, one of my favorites. We'll do Excalibur because I love the music in this one. You know, it's one of the harder ones, I have to admit.
Well, that's better than I usually do. All right, I guess that'll do it for this video. Uh, join us next week for another episode of Pack Vember. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next week, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.